This is a short tutorial on taking an image like this and applying some effects so you can use it as the background of a web page, like so. What I'd like to do is take the image, I'd like to kind of blur and fade it out, and then make the whole thing a little bit more translucent so it blends in with the background better. Okay, so we're going to use GIMP. I'm starting off with a JPEG image. I want to do a few things. First, I'm going to go over to my Layers Channels menu. If you don't see it, you can go to Windows, and it's usually in Recently Closed Docs. I'm going to click on Create a Duplicate of the Layer. I'm going to delete the original layer. To this layer, I'm going to add an alpha channel so that it supports transparency. And I'm going to right-click up on Background Copy, and I'm going to add a layer mask. I want to start off with full opacity. I'm just going to draw in the parts that I want to be transparent. So I'll click on Add. This little white box indicates that we do in fact have that layer. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is choose a tool for my toolbox, maybe an ellipse, and I'm going to select the region that I want to keep in my image. I'll move that up. Maybe adjust the size a little bit. Alright, now this is the region I want to keep. I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'm going to actually select, invert my selection, and then, you can't see it, but it's inverted, head back over to my toolbox, grab the Fill bucket, and I'm going to click in the region that I want to remove. I'm going to fill it with a black color. You'll notice, hey, it's gone. Cool. Next, what I'd like to do is um, go back to Select, select none and now I'm going to apply a little bit of blurring action. I'm going to go to filters I'm going to choose blur, Gaussian blur change that to IIR if it's not already there I'm going to increase the horizontal and vertical to about 40 hit OK. I've got a nice blurring effect around here. Now I'd like to I'll go to image um, this image is really big, so I'm going to scale the image a little bit. Um, let's see, judging on what you think the width of the browser is going to be, maybe I'll make that, uh, let's say, 800 across. Scale. Looks small here, but increase the resolution. I'm going to image, auto crop. And let's get rid of some of the blank region down here. Or maybe not. Um, finally, I'm going to right-click over here, and I'm going to apply the layer mask. So I just have this one single image again. Finally, I'm going to save as, not a JPEG, to support transparency. I'm going to save that as a PNG. Um, yeah, that's all fine. Save. So you'll get a nice blurry effect. Now, if this is still too pronounced, if you want to lighten it up a little bit, go back to Layers, Channels, and Paths, you can pull the opacity down. It'll just be kind of a hint of a background picture. Again, that might be a slightly nicer effect. Let me just save the file one more time. Export. This will come up every once in a while. That's fine. Hit Export. Export. 